long. Usually I'd put spinach in it and like have like the wilted spinach, but I don't have any spinach. So if you watched my last vlog, The Evening With Me, this is how my hair turned out after the bun buns. <laughs> A little less straight than it was last night, which to be honest, considering I had a rather uncomfortable night with those in my head, not worth it. So I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Gonna go and have my breakfast. See you later. <laughs> Look at what has just arrived at my door. Hang on. It's a treadmill. <laughs> so I ordered this a couple of weeks ago. I've actually been wanting one of these for the longest time. I think I did actually talk about it like a couple of months ago. Um, and I just went ahead and bought one. So to be fair, I did a lot of research into like which ones to get because I, I did look at the walking pad ones, which were like 400 pounds and it, like it folded. And I thought, oh, that'll be brilliant because I can just put it under the desk. But when I was looking at the measurements, like it wasn't really going to, it wasn't really going to work out. So I thought this one that I've got doesn't fold up, but it doesn't have like this stand either. So it's just a, just like a regular treadmill basically, um, but without the, the handlebars and it fits so nicely down the side of the sofa. So... Yeah, I've got a treadmill. <laughs> oh, this, I'm hoping, will help me get my 10,000 steps a day because, again, like I spoke about um, a little while ago, like, my steps are really, like, sporadic as to whether I get 10,000 or whether I get, like, 1,000. So I'm hoping this might be the answer to all my prayers. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I need to assemble it, but Emmanuel's asleep from night shift, so I feel like I might wait for him to wake up and I might just let him assemble it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can go from there. Very exciting. I've just had my eyebrows done. They are so red. I actually quite like them, you know. Sorry, I'm just checking myself out. I went for HD brows this time, which I don't usually, but I don't know, I just fancied trying them. So they haven't been like filled in because I just said that I was going home and I didn't really need them filled in. Um, but yeah, it's an HD brows. Maybe you can try out that um, gel stuff that I was showing you the other day. Maybe not tonight though, because I, I don't know. Sometimes my skin, I shouldn't touch it really, but sometimes like around my eyebrows, once I, like just once I've had them waxed, I start to get little spots. So I need to like not touch them even though I'm like, Ugh, dying to um, but anyway i have come to kingston park to get um some false tan because i've run out of false tan and i really want a false tan again shall i do it well it depends on how my brows kind of settle down as to whether i put them on i probably shouldn't um but yeah we'll see i'm gonna grab some false tan have a little look around see what they have to offer um i love having a little look look around of superdrug and places like that just to see kind of what's going on um turns out i was in the wrong shop <laughs> apparently it's uh boots that sell my time not superdrug so i'm just having to wander along <sighs> one day i'll get it right boots um i was gonna pick up something from superdrug but then i figured that boots would probably sell it because they sell pretty much the same thing um so obviously you guys saw that i got my false tan the isle of paradise express self tanning mousse i think this is probably my favorite because it has like a color correcting thing in it so it like evens your skin tone as well and i mean it does say 30 minute glow i do leave it on for a couple of hours though just because why not? <laughs> Just because I like a little bit of a dark tan, there's nothing wrong with that. But one thing I did like, um, which I thought was pretty good, was that if you bought an Island Paradise uh, product, you got a free tanning mitt. And I love this tanning mitt. I remember when I first started using them, I got this 
and it's just so like smooth to put like you, to put your tan on and stuff and so i was like right i'm picking up one of them and then i also picked up something that i've seen on tiktok this is what i was going to pick up in Superdrug, but then ended up just getting from boots and it's the garnier vitamin c daily uv brightening fluid invisible so i have seen these on tiktok i've seen people try them out and they they do have one which has like a slight skin tint which is apparently for all skin shade like all skin colors but i'm skeptical about things like that um, um you can't tell me that there is a cream with a tint in it that is suitable for every skin tone uh, to me that's just impossible so i got the invisible one um just because i thought it might be quite nice i think it's got 50 it's a spf so it's got uh 50 plus spf in it um so it's moisture and protect and anti-dark spot. So I'm going to try that, I think, tomorrow morning when I put my skincare on. My hair is like wild. I feel like I need to go home and sort it out. <laughs> but yeah, um, the only other thing I bought was um, cold and flu tablets because me and Emmanuel practically ate through the last lot because we were both so ill <laughs> over the last like couple of weeks. So yeah, um, just cold and flu tablets. Nothing exciting, but yeah. Okay, so this is the treadmill now out of the box um i have just plugged it in over here i'm undecided as to like where it'll go it, it kind of doesn't really work here because i've got this like stair rail so i'm like when i'm on it i'm really close to this so i need to work out somewhere else to put it but it does fit perfectly down this side so when i'm not using it i can just pop it down the side there but i did kind of think if i could move this rug back a little bit it would go nicely kind of there but it's just a case of plugging in so yeah but it's all been like lubricated up because you needed to put some like they they give you where is it this to to pop on it why is that not focusing yeah they give you this to pop on it which is like a lub lubricant basically it is so sticky <laughs> But that's all on now and then you get this remote control which you just press to turn on and then i'll just do a quick demonstration and then just press it again and then it just starts going so this is obviously on the lowest speed but it does go all the way up to like a running speed so you just use the remote to like make it go faster etc so and it tells you I'm just gonna, like obviously the speed then you've got the distance time and calories burnt but the thing with the calories burnt one is just take like take that with a pinch of salt because everybody burns different amount of calories doing different things so i don't really pay, i wouldn't pay attention to the calories burn i think that's just like an average but you never know so yeah that's my little treadmill <laughs> It does feel a little bit weird not having the like the bit in front of you, but it'd be so good to just have on and just put like stick the telly on because then I'm just like walking and watching telly and you don't even need to really think about it. So yeah, I might pop on that a little bit later on. I am going to put some false tan on, I've decided, um, because I'm feeling a little pasty, but I'll do that a little bit later, I think. Um... Billy's a little bit unsure of the, why well, I'm very yellow. Billy's a little bit unsure of the um, treadmill, aren't you, Bills? I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to show you another thing because I was talking, I think it was in my, e like, spend an evening with me vlog. Hang on. Um, I showed you a... I showed you a lip kit that I got from a TikTok shop, which was this one. Um, and I tried it on for you guys and I actually quite liked it. And I did order the nude lip one. So this is the Made by Mitchell lip kit in Melt Mood. So with this one, I thought we could give it a go. See what this looks like. I know I've got no like other makeup on, so Lord knows what it's actually going to look like, but I thought we could try it on and just see it's giving what I want it to give because I kind of feel like with nude lips, you can wear them like all the time. It's getting ready to <laughs> to stand in front of the camera. Um, yeah, nude lips I feel like are pretty universal. You can wear with most outfits. 
So they give you the liner in all, it's called All Lip No Trip. And it's, it is quite like a dark liner. So com if you compare like the, the liner, which is quite dark to the main blush, we'll see. Did I, oh, I do have my um, little blending brush thing. Let's try this out. So lip liner. Okay. See how dark that lip liner is. Trust the process. Trust the process. And then the lip blush, or the blush that you get, is called in Peony Passion, which is very light. So. Mm, this is going to take some blending. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I can see it's starting to come together, actually. It doesn't really help that my lips are incredibly dry. And I haven't got any other makeup on, which also does not look great, but we could be onto something. And then the gloss is called On the Dance Floor. And I feel like this is a very, like... Yeah. Okay. There's the lips done. Hang on. Let's put you in a, a position where you may be able to see a bit better. Turn the light up. Right. What do we think? I think I quite like that actually. If I were to have like a full face of makeup on, that's a nice kind of like nude lip. I approve of that one. So yeah, I did pay like the full price for this because it wasn't in the like discounted ones like this was. Because I think I paid eight pounds for this and then I paid 15 for this. Um, but I feel like they're two very good staples to have. The only thing is I, I will never remember like which goes with which. So I'm gonna have to keep them in the boxes. <laughs> um, but yeah, very happy with that. So next time I go out in the next blue moon, I can uh, have a nice nude lip on. <laughs> Love it. I'm gonna go and clean this brush now because I feel like if I don't, then it's just gonna go all sticky and horrible. <laughs> mm. Yeah, very impressed. And of course, in true just style, I forgot to end this vlog. <laughs> so I did end up tanning last night, just to light. Nothing like, you know. So I turned last night and I, I actually used that Garnier SPF this morning and I've got to say, I like it. I do like it. It didn't leave me feeling like greasy or like sometimes when I put SPF on, it just, I have like this layer of shine. Um, whereas that SPF hasn't. I'm feeling not shiny, which is a good start. So I will continue to try it and continue to test it out for you guys so that you know whether it's worth buying or not, but so far so good after the first use. So, but anyway, I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, go hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Baby, let me love you, let me love you.